everybody and welcome to my latest video which is going to show you step by step how to create your very own shadow layer for any font. It will work for your Cricut Design Space fonts as well as any that you have downloaded. And the one that I'm showing here for the example is actually a system font that I downloaded from devont.com and it's called Cutie Patootie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my layers panel and I'm going to click flatten. That's going to change it to a print instead of a cut, which is exactly what we needed to do. We're going to click go and make sure that your bleed feature is on, which will give it this blurred look, which is under the matte settings. Just make sure that that's on. We're going to click go again and we're going to right click this display here, save picture as. And I'm just going to do bleed 5. So then we can exit out of this. Come on, exit out. There we go. And we're actually going to go and upload the image that we just saved from that preview. We're going to upload it into our design space library. So, doo -doo -doo. there we go. And we can just use a simple image since it's only going to be the one color that we're dealing with here. And you're just going to click everything on the screen that you want gone with the magic wand, which is just like you do for any other JPEG PNG item that you're wanting to put into Design Space. Go and click Continue, Save as a Cut File, and that'll actually upload it into your Design Space library so we can add it to our screen. And once we get it to our screen, then I can show you guys exactly how it looks to be able to create that shadow layer. So, this, we can unflatten it and change it to a cut because we don't want to print it. We just needed that for the bleed feature to be on. And then we just size it to fit within our shadow layer. Which is all I'm doing here is eyeballing it. It's not exact, I know. But that'll give you the idea of what it'll look like once you're able to get everything done. And of course, you can change the colors to whatever you're needing. But this is the easiest way I've found. I am on a HP laptop. I know if you're on a Mac, it's a little bit different as far as where you're able to save it as a PNG. But I don't have a Mac to show you guys. Hope that doesn't hurt anybody. But if you need any assistance or have any questions on this or want any other videos, just shoot a comment or message me. And be sure to subscribe because I'm trying to upload at least one video a week to give you guys different tips and tricks to use with Cricut Design Space. And I hope this helps. Thanks.